retinopathy is uh, the condition where the retina is affected by the high blood sugars that uh, patients with diabetes um, are uh, experiencing. And the, um, at a basic level, the blood sugars cause damage to the very small vessels in really any of the organs in the, in the human body. And, and of course, the eye being one of those. So um, on, uh, with diabetes, those blood vessels get affected and they become more leaky and they cause damage because of their leakiness, essentially. Um, as far as uh, diabetic um, uh, patients with type 1 diabetes versus type 2, certainly type 1 diabetics, we find they have um, slower onset in terms of the uh, diabetic retinopathy that they experience and, and, and damage to their vision because they're usually um, diagnosed at a uh, early stage. Uh, the, so the symptoms are quite dramatic usually, uh, and it's also known as uh, early onset or insulin dependent diabetes. And so they tend to be monitored fairly soon after they've been diagnosed. And um, as a result, uh, their risks are a little bit lower. Uh, the type two diabetics, because it typically occurs later in life, um, those patients can kind of uh, fly under the radar a little bit where they, um, they're not diagnosed in, uh, in, in as efficient manner as the type one diabetics. And so they can go for a number of years uh, without um, being monitored. And so their diabetic retinopathy can be at a more advanced stage when they're diagnosed. So they are at a higher risk for, um, for diabetic retinopathy and, and the uh, damage to the vision that goes along with that. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Hui. I am 34 years old and I have been a type one diabetic since I was seven years old. And this little guy here is my CNIB guide dog, Joe. He's two years old. I've lived with diabetic retinopathy, which has affected my vision for the past eight years. And I just wanted to quickly show you how with advances in technology, I can test my blood sugar without being able to see my phone. So I take my phone, I'm in the app, and I will scan my phone over the continuous blood glucose monitor on my arm. And it just told me that I am 10. So while I go and give myself some insulin to take care of this, I just wanted to thank you guys and hopefully you have learned something quick from this one minute video. Bye. Anytime we see patients with diabetes, we uh, try to really emphasize to them that they're, uh, they have a, a quite a bit of control in terms of how the disease progresses. And when I say that, I mean, they, the uh, way that they can tightly control their blood glucose and follow their um, doctor's advice in, in adhering to you know, diet and exercise, and then if they're on medications for their diabetes and insulin, all of those um, management uh, tools that they have uh, is gonna help them prevent what we call sight-threatening vision loss. And that is their best defense against sight-threatening vision loss is tightly controlling their blood glu glucose levels or blood sugar levels. And usually we aim between six to eight millimoles per liter. Um, you know, some of those who are listening may not know those terms, but essentially a blood sugar level between six and eight is where you wanna tightly control your blood sugar level with all the means that the doctors uh, try to help you with. And if you're able to achieve that, then you'll have a great chance of avoiding uh, and reducing the risk of sight-threatening vision loss over the long term. Hi, my name is Ryan Hui from Windsor, Ontario, and I'm currently sitting at my desk in the office. 
There are a lot of myths and maybe even misperceptions about someone with diabetes and vision loss. Myself, I lost my sight about nine years ago from diabetic retinopathy. And there is a myth that, you know, we would need a lot of help and we do, but I don't speak for everybody when I say this, but we can manage our diabetes effectively. However, we need to have the technology to do it and currently it's not available affordable and accessible to us so i'm really hoping that in the future this technology is made all of the above affordable accessible and available to everybody canada wide